What's up? It's Robert from Existence First, mental training for a modern world. In today's mental training, we're going to be talking about handling, validation, and praise. I think that to some degree, praise and validation might be healthy to the human being. After all, we are a very social species, and throughout the course of evolution, it was an advantage to be able to feel good when the tribe accepted us. It kind of aided survival. But at the same time, this is existence first, where we examine the deeper layers, the invisible layers, the invisible mechanisms of psychology that are happening right as we live. So when someone gives us praise, validation, etc., when we post something on social media and it gets a lot of attention and a lot of likes, we know that subjectively that's a very good feeling. Uh, but we have to really understand what's going on inside the brain. So inside the brain, really strong pleasure chemicals are being released, and that's how conditioning works. So if I receive praise or validation from others, I immediately become suspicious, not of the people giving the praise, but I become suspicious of the process and of what is my involvement in the process. The same way that if, um, a drug dealer were to come by and say, you know, here, try this, it, this one's for free. Like, you should be suspicious, right? And the way that stuff works is that the person accepts it, takes some, and then they get addicted and hooked, and then they come back and they buy more from the drug dealer, right? So it's no different. I'm here to protect my brain, not just from drugs, but from the drugs of uh, validation, which can also be very, very powerful. I think what it comes down to is making sure that my psychological well-being does not rest upon pillars that at any point could be removed, causing my psychological state to tumble. And pillars that could be removed are validation from other people. But we also have to look at bigger picture things, not just from other people, but validation from systems or systems of validation. So going to a job has its own systems of validation, pillars that your psychological well-being rests upon. And so when people retire or when they lose a job or something, they don't just lose the income, they lose those psychological supports, those pillars that are supporting their own psychological well-being. And those pillars take the form of, uh, you know, feeling, feeling good that you were able to get your projects done on time, feeling good that your boss recognized you, feeling good that, you know, someone in the other department said thank you, and all of these things that make you feel good. Now, there's nothing wrong with feeling good, right? It's not a, it's not a crime to feel good, but we need to really be aware of what's happening at those invisible deeper layers, that we don't just go to a job and then, you know, collect a paycheck and then boom, done, end of transaction. No, there's a lot being exchanged at the level of psychology. I've been really thinking about sustainability lately. Um, sustainability, not in the environmental sense, uh, which is what you typically hear it, um, saying, you know, well, we can't keep using up the planet's resources at this rate, blah, blah, blah. I mean sustainability in a psychological sense. That means that if it feels good to receive validation from person A, let's say, then what's the system in place for ensuring that I'm also going to continue getting validation in that same amount and frequency from person A on an ongoing basis, or that uh, person B will then provide the same amount and frequency, and then after that person C will provide the same amount in the frequency. Like, what is the system there for ensuring the, the sustainability of my own psychological well-being? So that's why I look at it in this way. So I'm not willing to hook myself up to any pleasure machine that uh, is not sustainable, and that includes receiving praise and validation. So think about what are the invisible systems going on that you're hooked up to that if they were to disappear your psychological well-being would plummet 
Comment below what you think those might be. In the, in the meantime, think deeply and put your existence first.